Josh in the Cajon Pass. We're talking about that fire engine yeah. that uh, just toppled over a road there. It collapsed into the wash when a road gave way last night beneath it, which was caught on video exclusively by Eyewitness News cameras. And Eyewitness News reporter Chelsea Edwards is live at that scene with the latest and the details. Chelsea. <laughs> Well, still an active scene. Now, crews say they had two options to get that fire truck out. They were either going to try to lift it back on top of that freeway, about 20 feet high, or they were going to upright it and then slowly push it through this creek bed. They ended up doing the latter for safety reasons, and after a day of planning and prepping, they finally got it out. As rain fell for the second day in a row, crews frantically worked to drag out the total fire engine way above. At this dramatic exclusive video of how it happened. You can see the San Bernardino County fire engine teetering on the edge of this crumbling stretch of freeway before the road gave way. It all happened on the southbound I-15 in the Cajon Pass after a big rig lost control in the rain and landed in the wash. Its driver, as well as the responding firefighters, all made it out safely. It could have been much worse. Firefighters say it's a 20-foot drop from the top of that freeway, and the area that I'm standing was under at least five feet of water at the time, which would have gone above this window. To pay the aftermath, crews took everything worth salvaging from the wreckage of this $600,000 engine before turning it upright and slowly dragging it out. Fortunately for us, as firefighters were pretty good at problem solving and getting out of situations. Um, so it's just a great storming and we put together a plan. The latest round of wild winter weather wreaked havoc across the Southlands. Last night in Victorville, two cars were trapped in Russian water. Crews were able to rescue one of the drivers, but another was killed. His body pulled from his submerged car. He's now been identified as 41-year-old Michael Douglas Williams. Crews across our area continue to dig out and clean up from the latest round of intense winter and taking a live look, you can see some of this work being done. They really have wasted no time. They've been knocking into those concrete overhangs, part of that freeway, and just knocking it down, trying to get this work done as quickly as possible. Now, while this work is being done, two, two lanes of the southbound I-15 freeway in the, in the Cajon Pass are closed, and that is creating quite the traffic backup in this area, especially southbound, so make sure to leave yourself some extra time. If you are headed out this direction, again, crews say they're going to be working through the night to try to get this freeway fixed. Live in the Cajon Pass, Chelsea Edwards, ABC7 Eyewitness News.